welcome back to my channel. I still feel like this time of the month we're still wearing pinks and reds so I'm going back at you again with another pink tutorial except now this time instead of using black eyeliner I'm going to use glitter eyeliner so if you want to know how I achieve this look please keep on watching. To start I'm going to use Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in Sand Sable to prime my eyelids. Taking Beach Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette, I'm going to use this pink shade all the way in the corner and apply it on my crease. And with a blending brush, I'm going to blend out the harsh edges. Next, I'm going to use this dark pink shade and I'm going to apply it only on the crease. Lastly, I'm going to use a dark pink shade and that red together and apply it also on the crease. With the concealer, I'm going to carve out a half cut crease. Now I'm going to use BH Cosmetics 120 eyeshadow palette in 3rd edition. Now this palette has two parts. It has a colorful side and it also has a dark to nude side. But for this tutorial, we're going to use the colorful side. Using that baby pink shade, I'm going to apply it on the lid where we have carved out that half cut crease. And with the blending brush, I'm going to blend out the harsh edges. With the concealer, I'm going to apply it as if I were putting normal eyeliner. Now I'm getting Bitsy's Nail and Body Glitter and applying it on where we have faked the winged eyeliner. Now I do recommend you getting the liquid glitter eyeliner instead of the glitter itself because this glitter will tend to fall out. You'll know what I mean throughout this video so if you see sparkly things on my face, you know why. To darken the look a bit, I'm going to use the pink shade and the black shade together and apply it right on the crease. and a little bit more blending the harsh edges. For lashes, I'm going to use Ardell Lashes in Demi Wispies. Using Wet n Wild's H2O Proof Liquid Liner, I'm going to apply it to make my lashes seem more natural. To cover my dark circles, I'm going to use LA Girls Pro Conceal in Orange. With a foundation brush, I'm going to use Maybelline's Fit Me Matte Porters Foundation in 220 Natural Beige and apply it all over the face. Now with a beauty blender, we can blend out that foundation. Now with that same concealer, I'm going to apply it under the eyes and cleaning out the glitter eyeliner.
and also concealing the chin, the bridge of the nose, creating chicken patas, and after that we can use the beauty blender to blend it all out. To set what I concealed, I'm going to use a Ben Eyes powder and banana. With the angled brush, I'm going to use Benefits Bronzer in Hula and apply it across the cheeks, the forehead, the jawline, and a little bit on my nose. With a tapered brush, I'm going to brush off all the excess powder. With a blush brush, I'm going to use Maybelline's Fit Me Blush in the shade Deep Wine and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. With a large shadow brush, I'm going to apply the same shadows under the lash line. For mascara, I'm going to use Benefit's Bad Gal Lash Mascara and apply it to blend out my lashes and the fake lashes. For highlight, I'm going to use Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. To set the face, I'm going to apply Max Fix Plus. To align my lips, I'm going to use Ella Girl's Lip Liner in Mauve. For lipstick, I'm going to use Rimmel London's Kate Lipstick in the shade 103. After applying Max Fix Plus, I'm going to apply a little bit more highlight. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> I can't see nothing. <laughs> well, it's not just me that can't see. We're gonna use my finger because that's how unprofessional we are. I'm just kidding. Basically. I'm ready.